we, we often draw a line between adaptation and mitigation, but we know that while you are adapting, you also, by the way, you also mitigate. So it is the time is right to take action. So ministers, as you are here, let me, with colleagues, count on your leadership in actually call, calling on your, ministry, your colleagues here in negotiating to fully, this time, get prepared for COP19. So in COP19, the issue will not be pushed forward for another COP. And that, while we are doing that, that we will take full action under the sister convention of the UNFCCC, which is the UNCCD. It is a convention designed to avoid degradation and to restore the graded land. Thank you very much. Yes, it's my great pleasure to, to welcome you all on behalf of uh, Mr. Alexander Müller, the Assistant Director General of the FAU. Why are we here? Mm -hmm. Just Why are grasslands so important? They are important because they are a large ecosystem. They are important because so many people are dependent on grasslands for their livelihoods. And they are important because they offer so many possibilities for improved livelihoods through adaptation and also an interesting option for mitigation. So when we restore the degraded grasslands, we get a healthy, productive environment. This means also healthy and productive animals which improve the livelihoods and food security. But at the same time as we get these healthy and productive animals, we actually uh, decrease the emissions a lot per animal. Because uh, sick, uh, hungry animals just emit. They don't give any benefits for the, for the livestock people. At the same time, impoverished, degraded soils don't produce anything. So we have to restore the soils and the ecosystems and the production systems dependent on that. And I'm really interested to hear these different experiences we will hear in this event. Thank you.